guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. Today I'm going to be doing another sit down video. I got so much good feedback from you guys about how much you would love my sit down, kind of more relaxed type of videos like this. And sometimes I think it's good to get like a break from the action with all the vlogs and just really sit down and talk to you guys. So today I'm going to sit down and share with you guys about a super cool experience that I recently just had last weekend. I went to the Mall of America for the Girls on the Run program 5K event. And what Girls on the Run is, essentially it's a nonprofit organization that girls around the country can join and become a part of. It just really emphasizes the importance of instilling confidence in girls at such a young age, especially through physical activity, because I have experienced when I'm more active and physically active, whether it's running or yoga or a workout class or something, I just feel so much more confident in myself and I feel so much more mental clarity. And Always, which is a feminine care brand, I'm sure we've all heard about them, has actually really helped support this program for the past three years. So this year they actually decided to donate even more to help increase the access that girls had to this program. And with the hashtag like a girl campaign, Always learned that it is very common for girls to lose confidence at the age of puberty and then when they hit the age of 10 their levels of physical activity decreases as well which is very sad because staying active and having an active lifestyle whether it's through yoga or running or whatever it may be it's just so good for both your mental health and your physical health and it just makes you to feel empowered as a woman i think too when you can go out and run a 5k so when i saw those little girls running the 5k last weekend i was so beyond impressed and i was able to hand them their medals whether it was their first 5k or maybe their fifth or sixth 5k that they've ever done in their life and you could just see the confidence in their faces as they cross through that finish line it is definitely something very empowering and impactful at that young age to be a part of that's why it's super cool that always worked so closely with girls on the run program to help create a confidence wish list which includes things that girls may need but do not have the access so that's why we want to encourage people everywhere to help donate some of these products on the wish list to help those girls that may not have access to it and again that was just an incredible opportunity and i'm so honored to be able to have experienced it and worked with always and girls on the run to share with you guys the importance of building confidence and physical activity in such a young age so now i'm going to move into some things that i like to do to really help build my self-care and make me feel confident because i think self-care and confidence is such a big thing when you take time for yourself and take time to incorporate self-care throughout your day or throughout your week it can definitely change and make a difference and make you feel confident as well so the first tip is to do something physical and what i mean by this is whether it's go for a run or go to a yoga class personally i'm a big yogi you guys know that through my youtube videos um, my vlogs all that kind of stuff and i do enjoy going on runs too and that's why i think it's important to get out there get active because it's really gonna clear your mind i go to yoga to just clear my mind or if i'm stressed out and it's the summertime and it's nice out i'll go for a long nice run just because that's what calms me down and it makes me feel so confident and so empowered like once i finish it it's the most rewarding feeling ever so not only do i love yoga for the mental clarity that it brings me and just the way i'm able to like move my body and that kind of thing but through going to yoga classes routinely i have really built myself into a community um, i'll see many of the same people every time or i'll see a lot of the same instructors and it has just built a community for me that i never had before the next self-care tip i have for you guys is to really find a skincare routine that's gonna work for you you guys saw this coming from a mile away i'm so into skincare it's so nice having a chill relaxed night and just doing a face mask exfoliating doing the whole nine yards i'm all about that i just think it's really good for your skin you just feel rejuvenated and my skin has always been something that i was very self-conscious about growing up especially in middle school i feel like that's when I went through puberty the most and acne hit and it just wasn't a good time for me to feel confident but developing a skincare routine that you know and you love um, is really going to make you feel good too and just kind of getting yourself into a routine letting yourself relax letting your skin have good ingredients on it and having a good face mask like 
nothing feels better than that i swear so definitely getting into a skincare routine is another form of self-care my third self-care tip for you guys is to journal or write down your gratitude this is something incredibly important and i used to always have the excuse like oh i don't have time to journal or like all that kind of stuff when in reality there's time in my day where i could carve out 15 maybe even just 10 minutes to journal just write down my thoughts whatever I'm feeling, whether they're good or they're bad, and then just take an extra minute and write down what I'm grateful for that day. There have been countless amounts of studies um, informing people about the importance of gratitude and how impactful it is on a human. It can really raise your happiness from like here to here, like drastically actually. So try incorporating that into your routine, whether it's the morning or the night, it will definitely make all the difference. And I really just think it makes you feel more confident too if you write down things about yourself that you like you're gonna start to see them come to life and just really start to value yourself too and take your ownership and your confidence the next tip i have for you guys kind of goes along with that and it's reading i know a lot of us again i think we don't have time to read but the amount of time you probably spend watching youtube videos as you're like watching this right now or watching netflix i can almost promise you there's some time you can carve out to read a couple pages of a book. I personally really love like self-development, self-care type of books because they really do empower me and make me feel like, oh my gosh, like I can do it. When I'm in the most stressed out of times, I'll go grab maybe one of the books and I'll just start reading it. And I feel so much more relieved because sometimes it's like someone is validating your emotions and you're like, okay, it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to be a little sad once in a while or maybe it's okay to be unconfident with this part of myself, but we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that confidence. We're gonna work on developing and taking care of ourselves. So I just think self-help books really change the game. I have a couple favorites um, that are my go-to. I'll kind of show them on the screen, but I would highly recommend picking up a self-development book or two. They're kind of a game changer, honestly. I love them and they're a very relaxing, chill read. You don't have to read through the whole thing. You can maybe pick out a chapter or two that resonates with you. It'll definitely make you feel good and kind of like calm you down, I think, too. The next tip I have for you guys is to take a bath. Let's be real. Nothing is better than taking a hot bath with a nice bath bomb. It smells good. You got the candles going. Maybe have a little Netflix show up. It is probably one of the greatest forms of self-care. So incredibly relaxing. Especially with the winter time coming up, you know I'm about to take a million baths. I mean, I don't have one in my apartment, but I might make that 30 minute car ride home just to hop in my bathtub. That sounds too good. If I'm really just feeling stressed out or if I'm feeling like really sore, whether it's from like a workout, a run, a yoga class, anything like that, baths with Epsom salt are key. People like those will be amazing for you. So if you're a girl on the run, definitely take a bath with some Epsom salt after you run because it'll make you feel a lot better and it'll really be good for your muscles and your joints, fun fact. <laughs> and then the final tip I have for you guys for self-care is to spend time with friends. No matter how busy your life gets or how stressed out you get, it's important to take time out of your day and go out and socialize. This week, I'm gonna be honest, has been a very stressful week on me. Things have been hard. I haven't had a lot of time to see my friends and stuff, but yesterday, I just said, you know what? We're gonna put everything that I have to do aside. I'm really stressed out right now, but I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. I'm gonna go talk with my friends. And I felt so good after being with my friends. And that's why relationships are so incredibly important. And especially with the Girls on the Run program, so many of the young girls have developed relationships and friendships with people they never even knew before. And there's so much value in that. And I think there's so much value you get from just hanging out with people genuinely you're not sitting on your phone phones like across the room from each other like you are with them you are present and it can just really make you feel good and grounded especially like i said after a long day or a long week there's nothing better than going to hang out with people that make you feel good and make you feel super happy so that actually wraps up my little tidbit about confidence and little things that you guys can do. And hopefully you guys got some tips on how you can improve your confidence through self-care, physical activity, all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to reiterate that, again, you guys can help out a lot by clicking the link down below. Like I mentioned earlier, it is a confidence wish list. 
and by purchasing things such as water bottles or hair ties or always pads you can really help all the girls on the run and these girls stay involved and help build their confidence just with your help of a donation so i really want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video and if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys